The teacher just started locking the doors and we're like, what's happening, what's happening? Police say it started with reports of a physical fight near the Garfield High School campus. Then it moved to the school's football field. That disturbance here involved two students, according to the district, and police say that resulted in a 17-year-old getting minor injuries. Two cars were seen driving away from the school. Then just two blocks from the football field, police say shots were fired between two cars. Students described their experience. We heard like drum sounds. We thought it was the band, but it was actually gunshots. More than a dozen shell casings were found. Interestingly, SBS said the incident was between two families, which many took as meaning adults may have been involved in this conflict. I'm going to say this, shame on you. Shame on you. That breaks my heart. You're a parent and you're an adult and you're not leading by example. No reported injuries in the shooting, but police are still working to connect the dots on whether the cars involved are the same cars that were seen leaving the school. In a statement after the fact, Seattle Public Schools used all caps to say the shooting was not on campus. But a worried family member says there needs to be some accountability. It's a school zone. It's a safe zone and we need to keep the kids safe. She's hoping they find the suspects because this isn't an anomaly. It comes after three shootings at the end of last school year, also near Garfield's campus. All this gun violence needs to stop. Another day, another lockdown for this jaded 12th grader. I mean, at this point, I think I'm just kind of used to it. And again, so far, no one has reported being hurt in the shooting, but police are still investigating. Parents who spoke to King 5 told us they want metal detectors and more security staff on campus. But a student I heard from said he feels the security staff that ex exists now should probably focus on making more positive relationships with students. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Maddie White.